Now for the back, um, this is kind of difficult, but um, I have to, you know, collapse it just to show you this one. And um, let me do that. I'm going to show you full collapsing when I'm done with this. Um, there's one more rubber band, and it's right here. You can see the blue right there. It actually goes through, and I can't really do this. I'm not going to really take off the rubber bands. It's going to take too long. But um, you see it right there. It goes through here, and it goes underneath the ram. So before you put on the rubber bands for your ram, I suggest you do this. Um, is you put it through, you put it through, well, you wrap it around this rod and double it up if it's, uh, it depends on what size of rubber band, I use really small rubber bands for this, and double it up and put it through here and this should keep, and you should actually see it going through, um, let me see, I can't really get you a view, but it's going through and it's connecting these two panels and it's actually inside underneath the ram and it's connected on both sides keeping it together. And uh, that's the last structural rubber band. There is one more that you'll probably need to do, and it's for the um, the flipping feature. And sometimes that does happen. I don't know why. But um, now I'm gonna give you a little tips and pointers after this for uh, this gun, because there are some things that do happen. And that's only due to the slimness of this gun. But um, here you see this rubber band. It's wrapped around the joint. And the only reason why it's wrapped around the joint is so it, the, it does the panels for the stock and the initial gun doesn't fall off the, um, the joint. And what you do is you take a rubber band and you bring it through around to the other side. And I do this by you have to take off those pieces and you can actually see them. I think you can see one on, right next to the ram right there. Yeah, you can see it right there. And the other one is underneath the joint so you can't see that one but just put it through there just like you did uh, this rubber band just like you did this rubber band but just do it a little or around both of these and it should keep it together should not come off the joint it's, it, depending on what kind of rubber band you use if it's pretty big rubber band uh, I don't have any of those rubber bands anymore I don't think but um, they're really small so they're probably about I guess you can say oh about that big really really small and I use those rubber bands. Uh, now on to the RAM. And this should be quick because this video is getting dang, pretty dang long. Now, I did this for my RAM. I put it around, actually, after you build this piece, I put the rubber band, because it's a big rubber band, put it around here, you run it through here, and then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, right here, as it comes out, you need to bring it through. I'm going to actually lock the RAM real quick. There, Rot locked it. Okay, you see it going through here, and it comes through these grays, and goes all the way out through here, and then you hook it up on the white rod. You have to take off the white rod right here, and you put it on there, and then you lock the white the white rod right back on, and it should stay, and then it fires. Right. This video is getting really long, so I'm gonna have to split this up. Just telling you that. All right, now on to uh, firing, loading, and firing, and uh, how to fold and all that stuff. Just to let you guys be aware of this. Okay, now uh, this is how you load and fire and all that stuff. Um, before you load your bullet, I suggest you pull back your RAM, and to pull back the RAM, it's kind of a, a difficult procedure, because you have to put the, your finger on this right here, and I suggest you put it right in there, right, right here, and pull it down, and then take another finger, and try and slip it on right here, and then you can pull it all the way back, and then it should be locked in place, which mine is, and you can see it's right there. Now, floating in the bullet is the only reason why you have this piece. And, well, here's the initial bullet. It's just two gray rods, or two gray connectors on a gray rod, or green rod. 
gosh. Okay, um, the, this is how you load it. There should be a compartment right here that all you have to do is push in the bullet and make you push it towards where the handle and rod, uh, ram are. Then you want to put it at a diagonal position and take this piece, put it in all, any way you want and make sure it's flat. That's what I do. And then firing, just remember, make sure you have it on your shoulder. You hold back the handle and because if you don't hold back the handle the trigger will get locked in place so and then you should be able to fire depending on what kind of rubber band you have for the ram it depends on how much power you're going to get out of the gun and here's folding you actually just let me flip it around take the pin out it's easy and simple and um, easy and simple and then you take the rubber bands here you don't want to like get them caught on you actually can get them caught on the ram the end of the ram right here you can get it caught on if you don't do it right so when you're folding this down make sure you separate the rubber bands just a little unless you want to modify yourself to work better and then you're supposed to uh, you could do it this way you could pull down the handle bring it down and it should be able to go together and two of uh, one of or two one of you can do one of two pl places to put the pin and you can put it up here flip it around and put it like that so it sticks out and this is the position you don't want to have when you're putting it in your pocket or you can take it out you can flip it around and put it through the ac actual gun which is this where you put it uh, behind the actual gun or in inside the actual gun is right after the handle position and you should be able to do this so and then that's pretty much it there you go or there's another way you can actually fold it real quick is this pull or not pull this down you pull the handle down first right over here and then you pull this down and then you go right there let it go pull down and then I usually just put it straight through the gun. So it actually goes straight in my pocket. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my how to do everything for the gun. Um, like I said, if you want to build it, if you haven't built it yet, uh, go to Connects Innovation, link in the underbar, or you can go to my other video explaining the gun um, and all that stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. This is going to be in a two part thing, I think, because I've been recording for 14 minutes which is a long time. So uh, thanks for watching. This is A Fairy 9095 and uh, keep watching my videos. Thanks. Another thing you need to know about the structural support of the gun, what you else you need to do is rubber bands and tape and all this stuff, is uh, you need to put a rubber band on the back right here um, and it goes through this piece right here and around the inside if you can see this. Let me get the gun in here a little. And you can see this rubber band that's right here, and it needs to go through there and all the way around it. So it keeps the back of uh, the stock from falling out. And another thing you need to know for the stock is I put tape across the orange right here, right here, right here, and down at the back. I put uh, tape across it so um, it doesn't fall apart. And you need to do this too. And make sure you press down the tape as hard as you possibly can. Um, to keep it on there and make sure it's clear or invisible tape. It doesn't matter. You can put electrical tape on it if you want. I don't care what kind of tape, but it will keep the gun a little bit stronger and it'll keep it uh, together and it won't fall apart. And uh, that's pretty much it for that, uh, for the structural support.